Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Right now, we are in the process of solving problems having to do with division of fraction. Division of fractions. We began the topic yesterday. Today we are going to do the sample problems that you find on page number 22. There are 10 of them as you can see there on page number 22. There are 10 sample, sample problems. At the end of the 10 problems, if you feel that you still need more practice, there are 4 more videos that you can watch. Just type in T's math day number 5 and day 6. That's when we did the problems dealing with the division of fractions. As you know, the math on the T's is very similar to what you will encounter on the HESI. In addition to those two videos, there is a series of basic math right here. You see basic math day 1 through 200. On day number 51 and 52, we did some problems having to do with division of fractions, division of one fraction with by another fraction, where you will, where you will find some more exercises. All right? If they are all there, it's up to you to avail yourself to those videos. Today is our lesson number 29. Let's begin. Sample problems is what we're doing on page 22. Yesterday what we learned is, yesterday what we learned is, if we have one fraction, say for example, for example 24 divided by 3, if you have one fraction and we're being asked to divide it by another fraction, let's say 27 divided by 28 divided by 7, what we learned yesterday is that if we have one fraction we're being asked to divide that by another fraction, what we need to do is take the first fraction and multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Take the reciprocal of the second fraction, 28 over 7 becomes 7 over 28, and then multiply the two quantities and you will get your answer. That's what we learned yesterday. For example, for example, in this problem, we know 24 divided by 3 is 8. We know that it's 8. We also know that 28 divided by 7 is 4. And if you divide 8 by 4, the answer should be 2. So we already know what the answer should be. Let's see, let's see what we get here. 24 over 3, and then division is going to become multiplication, and 28 over 7 should become 7 over 28. That's the theory. Let's see if it gives us the same answer what we're looking for. We know the answer is 2. Let's see what we can do here. Well, we see 24 and we see 28. Why don't we divide top and bottom by 4? 24 has 6 fourths and 28 has 7 fourths. So there you go. 7 cancels out with 7 and 6 divided by 3. If you divide top and bottom by 3, you get a 2, which is exactly what we found. We found the uh, We knew the answer had to be 2. There you go. It works. It works. That's what we're going to do. We're going to multiply the first fraction that is given to us by the reciprocal of the second fraction, thus converting a division problem into a multiplication problem. And that's all. And as long as you know how to multiply the two fractions, you're home free. Let's do the first problem. Number one. Four fifths divided by one seventh. Four fifth divided by one seventh, which is same as four fifth, four fifth times one seventh becomes seven over one, or seven if you like. Four times seven is twenty-eight, and five times one is five. We end up twenty-eight over five. We cannot leave it like this. It's an improper fraction, so we have to work on it. Twenty-eight over five is same as twenty-five over five plus three over five. And 25 over 5 is just 5 and 3 fifths. Answer to this problem is 5 and 3 fifths. 5 and 3 fifths. Let's do the next one, shall we? Number 2. Number 2. 12/15 divided by 3 fifth. 12/15 divided by 3 fifth is what we are asked to asked to do. Let's see what we can do here. 12/15 remains 12/15. Division is going to become multiplication, and we're going to mu multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction. 3 fifth is going to convert into a 5 third. And the rest is very easy. The rest is very simple. We just have to simplify it. We simply have to reduce it. We see 
I see 5 on the top, you see 15 in the bottom, they have a common factor of 5. Let's divide top and bottom by 5. If we do that, 5 goes away and 15 becomes 3. We see 12 on the top, we see 3 at the bottom, let's divide top and bottom by 3. 3 goes away and 12 becomes 4, so we end up with 4 third. The answer is 4 third. You can leave it like this if you want, or you can make it in a mixed fraction, which is simply going to be 1 and 1 third. 1 and 1 third. Let's go to the next one, shall we? Number 3. Problem number 3. I forgot, I forgot to check my answers in the back and now I'm getting paranoid. I just want to make sure that uh, I should have done this thing ahead of time, but I did not. Five and five and three-fifths is the first one, one and one-third is the second one. Let's make sure that all the answers that I have here are correct. There you go. All right, let's keep on going. Number three. It's always a good idea to check. Why? Because no one is infallible. Because no one is infallible. I don't believe we ever learned about infallible in our vocabulary lessons. Fallible means capable of making a mistake. Fallible means capable of making a mistake. Everyone is fallible and therefore and therefore no one is infallible. No matter how easy the problem is, always a good idea to make sure that you got the right answer. If there are answers in the back, why not why not confirm it? It only takes a few seconds. No, we did not learn it. I was checking I was checking in the list of the words that we covered in our vocabulary videos, in our vocabulary lessons under 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 F. Oh perhaps it is under F. I was looking under I for infallible. If we did cover it it should be under F. What was I thinking? We have not learned it. Perhaps one day I will cover it. Make a note of it. Okay. Right. Let's go on to number three. Seven eight divided by one six. Seven eight divided by one six. Again, same idea, same logic, same philosophy. Nothing is going to change. Same methodology. We take the first fraction, seven eight, and we multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction, which is going to be 6 over 1. And then after that we simply have to reduce it. Let's divide top and bottom by 2. 6 is going to become 3 if we divide by 2. And 8 is going to become 4 when it's divided by 2. That's it. There is nothing else we can do. 4 and 7 and 3, they have nothing in common. So it's just going to be 7 times 3. 7 times 3, which is 21. 7 times 3, over 4. Over 4 which can be written as 20 over 4 plus a 1 over 4 plus a 1 over 4. 20 over 4 is a 5, so the answer is 5 and 1 fourth. 5 and 1 fourth. That's your answer, 5 and a quarter. The answer is 5 and a quarter. Let's do number 4. Let's do problem number 4. Problem number four is asking us to divide one into a f into fifths. Well, oh, this is a very silly question. One divided by one fifth. Well, how many fifths do you suppose one has? One has five fifths. One, one has five fifths. Just like one has one has six sixths. One has three thirds, one has four quarters, one has ten tenths, one has eleven elevenths. If you if you take a one, if you take a piece, piece of pizza and convert it into, break it into five equal slices, those are not equal slices. Which is which explains why I was fired the first day. One has five fifths. It's a silly question. The answer is going to be five. Because we're taking the one and cutting it into fifths. How many slices do you suppose you will get if you take a pizza and cut it into fifths? You're going to get five slices. Here's the method. You take your first, you take your first number, which is one, or if you like, one over one, and we multiply it by the reciprocal of second one. One over five becomes five over one. 
and of course 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 1 is 1, we get 5 over 1, we get 5 over 1, which of course is 5, but all of this is ridiculous, all of this is, was a silly thing to do, because obviously, if they are asking us to divide 1 into fifths, we are going to have 5 slices. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I know.